This video is about rendering with an air marker. So you can get some nice gradations and soft tones without all the fuss and the mess of having to break out your pastels. My name's Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe and check out some of the other design and making videos that I have such as this air marker that I use in this video and how I modified it to adapt and accept most any other marker on the market today. As in all of my other marker renderings, this one starts out very much the same with a good underlay as my foundation for my rendering. Uh, in this case, I'm using a non-photo blue to make sure I get all the perspective right to create this mid-century modern interpretation of a spherical floating lamp. I'm going to lay down some red marker in a little bit of a grid pattern to show the fabric texture. From there, I'm going to create a paper template that I photocopy uh, the original artwork on and I cut out the part where I want to airbrush through. I put some cheesecloth down and I airbrush through that to get a nice texture for the fabric that covers the speaker. Next, I'm going to lay in some nice warm tones for the top of the globe to indicate that the light is soft and shining through uh, the top part of the sphere. Then I'm going to make a mask out of a heavy piece of cardboard and I'm going to raise that above what I just did so I get a nice soft transition between the lamp glowing and that glowing onto the background. Next, I'm going to work on the aluminum legs that are supporting the top part of the lamp and connecting the top sphere to the base. And they're going to be polished aluminum, so there's going to be a fair amount of blue to indicate reflections of the sky. Even though this may be indoors or in studio lighting, that blue gives that indication of that sky and that chrome look that we all know and love. The key to chrome, of course, is contrast and softness. You want that contrast in the reflection for the ground plane, and you want that softness in those sky tones. Here I'm just adding a little shadow on the left, and I'm coming back and adding some of that softness of the sky in the chrome, and a little bit more contrast here in that reflection that it's reflecting in the ground plane. Now I'm darkening in the base of the lamp, which I want to be like a soft rubberized uh, material so that it's comfortable when you lay your phone on top of it. <laughs> Next, and last but not least, I'm adding in the line weight. So I'm darkening up the outline of the object to give it a little bit of contrast and give it some punch. This is where the rendering really starts to sing. And I pay a lot of attention to the line weight. Darker lines on the bottom of things to add that effect of uh, almost a shadow being cast on that line weight. Uh, or that line weight inferring that it's darker on that side having things recede and having things have a little more contrast I decide the base needs to be a little bit darker to help anchor the piece so I'm coming in here probably with around a 7 or an 8 gray cool gray and adding some of the shadows uh, making things anchored a little bit more adding a little more shadow right here on the sphere to get a little bit more depth. Now I'm cleaning things up with a marker just to make things nice. I see I forgot a little shadow underneath the 
speaker and I'm adding in the last of the details I even try and see if there would be a cable there I don't like it I erase it I add my name and now come the notes which is really the part that makes it a design uh, rendering where you add in those note details to tell the user exactly all the features that aren't communicated directly through the rendering pretty much it I actually did two versions a red one and a blue one but I like the red one better of the pulse so that's what I did a video on don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. Click on the little box with the picture in it to see some of my other design videos.